Hi, my name is Terry, and thanks for joining us for Library Ocean. In this video, we are going to read Curious George Discovers the Ocean. So this is a story about Curious George, but there are a few kind of did you know things to learn along the way that we're going to touch on too. But let's start with Curious George. Curious George was a good little monkey and always very curious. Do you want to hear about the time George discovered the ocean? It's hard to believe, but the story starts in the sky. George had always dreamed of flying, so this was his lucky night. Sorry to pick you up so late, Professor Wiseman said, but a miniature weather satellite just crashed from space. It needs to be found right away, and I think you can help. George and the man with the yellow hat watched from the helicopter as their house got smaller and smaller below. They passed the city, the country, and the beach. Soon they were flying over the ocean. Guess who spotted the ship first? Yes, George, there's the Einstein Pizza Research Ship just ahead, the man said. Did you know that there are satellites above the Earth? They take pictures of how the clouds move. Professor Einstein and Professor Pizza looked worried. They explained the situation to George. The satellite splashed down close by, but no one is sure exactly where. It might have broken in the crash. That doesn't sound good, does it? What if the information and photographs the satellite had gathered were lost? Should we help them look for it, the man asked. George couldn't wait to begin. Did you know that a research ship is a floating laboratory? Some are designed for day trips, but others are home to researchers for weeks or months. If they were going to search the ocean floor for the satellite, they would need to, they would need to take pizza and Einstein's submarine. First a helicopter and now a sub today was turning into a big adventure. Did you know that sub is short for submarine? Subs can travel underwater. What do you think George saw through the sub's windows? There were so many things to look at. Fish, plants. Okay, George, the man said, keep your eyes peeled for that satellite. George tried to pay attention. Soon the submarine's sonar began to beep. Had they found the satellite already? That's not the satellite, George, Professor Wiseman said. Look, the sonar had found a giant sea turtle. Sonar is invisible, but you can see it in waves. And did you know that giant sea turtles or leatherback turtles are the largest of all turtles? It wasn't long before the sonar found the real satellite. We're getting close, Professor Wiseman said, but hold on, we have a problem. The satellite is inside that coral reef. Oh no, there was only one way into the reef, through a tiny passage. The sub was much too big to fit. George was so disappointed. Did you know that coral may look like plants and rocks, but it's actually made up of tiny animals? The team returned to the research trip to make a new plan. If the sub was too big to get into the reef, they'd need something smaller. Do you have any ideas? George had one. He was small enough to fit through the opening. With a scuba suit, George could swim in, explore the coral reef, and get the satellite. George's scuba suit fit just right. Your helmet contains a camera, microphone, and headphones. This locator will flash when you're close to the satellite, Professor Wiseman explained. We'll be able to see you on our monitor and speak to you the whole time. Are you ready? George was ready and excited. Did you know that SCUBA stands for Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus? The swim fins helped George swim fast. He swam over and around the coral reef until he spotted the opening. You found the opening, George, he could hear Professor George Professor Wiseman's voice loud and clear through the speakers in his helmet. You should be able to swim right through. Once he was inside, George couldn't believe his eyes. Can you believe how many animals live inside the coral reef? Did you know that coral reefs are home to some of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth? That means many different kinds of life, plants and animals all live here together. 
With so many new creatures swimming around him, George never expected to run into someone he recognized. Exploring the coral reef was so much fun that George had almost forgot why he was there, until he was distracted by a beeping sound. What could it be? His locator. It was flashing. You're getting closer to the satellite, George, Professor Wiseman said. George and his new friend swam deeper. George looked and looked. The satellite must be somewhere. Suddenly, George noticed something strange. Shadows swirled around him on the ocean floor. Shark-shaped shadows. George was frightened. He wasn't sure if sharks and monkeys were friends. Did you know scientists have noticed female sharks swimming in circles in shallow water just like the sharks that George has seen? Don't worry, George, those small reef sharks aren't hungry. The coral reef supplies them with all the food they need, Professor Wiseman explained. What a relief. George was so distracted by the sharks that it took him a moment to notice what was behind him. It was right there. He had finally found the satellite. Professor Wiseman flew her helicopter over the reef and lowered a rope down to the sea floor. George grabbed on, and he and the satellite rode out of the water, up to the helicopter, and back to the research ship. George was happy that he found the satellite, but still, if it was broken, all that work and search would be for nothing. When they got back to the ship, Einstein and Pizza decided to check the satellite. It's in great shape, Professor Pizza said. Not a scratch on it, shouted Professor Einstein. The research was saved, all thanks to George. Ahoy, George, they called to him from the ship. They wanted to celebrate, but what do you think George was doing? It had been quite a day. George got to fly in a helicopter, and that was fun, but he decided swimming in the ocean was even better, because in the sky, there are no sea turtles. As Curious George discovers the ocean, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll check out the rest of our library ocean activities today. Thanks.